hi there. If you are here, it means you want to learn coding using Python. Anyone interested in learning Python programming language is welcome, including those students who want to try out a programming language for the first time. But why learn Python and not some other programming language? Well, Python is the fastest growing general purpose programming language today to not only build web applications, but also to write programs for autonomous cars, analyze data using data analytics and data science techniques, and more. So indeed, Python is a very rich programming language. Moby Bootcamp has taught data analytics and data science subjects for hundreds of students. Our students have analyzed hundreds of open data sets by applying the techniques taught by us. You can start creating decent analytics by learning the seven most important concepts that are used again and again in most of the analytics. So these seven different concepts that you must know are the types of data and the operators that you can use on them, ordered collection, unordered collection, string operations, control statements, creating and using modules and functions, and finally, date and time. If you're new to programming and none of these concepts that I just mentioned make any sense to you, don't worry about it right now. I'll explain each one of them in detail as we go forward. We also have a companion ebook, which you can refer to in case you want to go a little slowly or just you want to refer at a later point of time. Ebook is really handy for those purposes. For this course, I'll be using the cloud-based Jupyter Notebook environment provided by Google called the Colab. Did you just say, what is a notebook? I heard it. Well, a notebook is a web application that allows you to combine explanatory text, math equations, code, and visualization all in one document. And Google has hosted a cloud-based Jupyter environment called Colab in which you can not only run Jupyter notebook programs, but can also share with others using the same shareable rules that are applied to Google Docs. So this course alternates between theory and practice. So you listen to the theory and then you get your hands dirty in the practice mode. With this, we are now going to go to lesson two in which you'll get your hands dirty as you'll play with the collab. Thank you. This concludes the introduction. Do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you will get to know when the next courses are released.